All right, just looking at our work on the line now. Got this done on Saturday. It's now Monday, Memorial Day. It was freezing cold, 50 mile an hour winds yesterday. So we stayed in the house and just had family movie crunch time. So Monday, beautiful day. So that's the one side we did. And this is the other side. Remember there was air showing through all of this, but it's all welded up nice and uh, super strong to accept whatever type of latch mechanism that we're gonna do here. We're gonna get to work. Here we go. All right, so I got her tacked into place at all four corners. I'm gonna play with it, put it up against the trailer, and then I'm gonna start cutting the middle sections, the one and a half by one and a half square tubing for the middle. Now lift. Go over this way. Just lift it. Up over this. Now, we're gonna go that way. You got it. This isn't very heavy. And then we're gonna spin it this way, and then you come back this way. Okay. Now let it go down. And then let it stand up like this, and your part is done. You can go wash your hands. Yeah. <laughs> I see what we can work. Yeah, so something like that. That's the idea. It's coming together. I don't plan to put anything heavy like a 3,000 pound car, but a Razor is a fairly light vehicle. And I don't think that'll be a problem once it's all together. And then I'm just gonna run a couple here across the middle to keep the tires in and give the expanded metal something to weld to in the middle. And then in making this, I realized that those sheets of metal are four by eight. So I have to create some kind of seam somewhere where I, because a four by eight sheet isn't gonna cover the whole thing. The length is there, but the width isn't there. This is wider than four feet in all directions. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way where at that four foot mark, or you know, a little shy to give some overlap, I have to have one that goes straight across. Uh, so that's consistently so it will hold down that seam, tack down. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna start welding her up. Now, these are just sitting in here. Yeah, I told him don't get near it. He could get a concoction, or a concussion, yeah. All right, here we go. So I've got all the welds done on this side. I'm going to flip it over and just do the lap welds on top and then I should be done. And I've learned a ton over the last year and a half of using this thing. I kept looking at videos thinking what's the magic trick. There's no magic trick. First you got to understand how it works. You know, then you have to have your settings right. <clears throat> 
and uh, you just have to do it enough to kind of know what works you got to do it enough to where if you just do it every now and then you'd never really learn I'm proud of that. Hey, I have a 10th grade education. I sell tires for a living. You know, I'm not the smartest bird in the nest, but let me tell you, if I can do this, anybody can do this. Just like with the 4x8 camper. And thankfully YouTube helps. Look at that. Came out good. I'll weigh this thing, see what it weighs. I already know the trailer weighs. Uh, it was 1380 empty on the scale with the tongue on the hitch. So I'm guessing that's probably about uh, 1425 empty i think that rail weighs about oh weigh it right now let's see oh 291 how about one of these things so i just need to add this outer piece stick that there and drill a hole right there that'll be that so I welded this piece in here to give uh, a backing for the latch and I'm just trying to get this latch level so I can melt her in place. A little worried that just two pins are holding this gate from flying down the road so I'm going to have to think this through but for now this is what I'm doing. Okay, here's what I learned on the first hitch. I welded this in place, I welded this in place, and then I guessed on the hole, and man, I was lucky. It's not perfect, but it is super tight. If you just lift up on the gate a little, and then this slides in. So what I learned from that is, this time, I did this first. I drilled the hole first where I wanted the gate and got this mocked up, and then I will now position the latch and cinch that thing in place while it's locked. So there's a guaranteed no fail there. Mm -hmm. See, even tire guys can figure stuff out. Yeah, even when it's, um, even when you learn stuff from TV too. He, so he was gonna build these, but he was sitting on his front in the garage and all of a sudden I heard like, whoa! And <laughs> um, I looked over, it was these latches for like $4 only. And we went down to Harbor Freight and got them. And so far we've welded both of them on. And now we have the latches for the gate. And yeah, so it's really cool. This has to be uh, pretty strong because he might take me on a laser ride someday. And the fun thing was when he was welding, he bought these little welding arrow thingies and I had fun playing with those. And yeah, and I got a little magnet detector for, like, how much was it? A magnet detector? Yeah, it's kind of like a magnet detector. A magnet? It's like a magnet. Four bucks. It's only four dollars. It You can go around in the dirt searching for metal things and stuff. It's really cool. But he did yell and the vice fell on the back of his leg. Anyway. Okay, Yeah. Bye. Okay. It is 746 and it is May 27th, Monday, Memorial Day weekend. And we got the ramp done in terms of framed out, the latches built, installed. Uh, I'm going to grind all that smooth, repaint all that black. I'm going to put spars across where the wheels are going to go for razor or whatever. Then we're going to do wire mesh. I still have yet to build the panels to make this tall. So that'll be a whole nother video and probably another three day weekend. All right, so coming along good. Okay. Want to give him a demo? Sure. All right. You get that one. Hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Show them how strong it is. Yeah. You do it now, Dad. <laughs> oh. It's really strong. All right, buddy. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's been a long weekend, but uh, we learned and we progressed. Until next time. Don't fall. <laughs> <laughs>